Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to solve a problem of lead code related to arrays. Problem name is product of array except self. Let's go through the problem. Uh, given an integer array nums, return an array answer such that answer i is equal to the product of all the elements of nums except nums of i. Right? The product of any prefix or suffix of nums is guaranteed to fit in a 32-bit integer. So the basically the vector of int that we have to return. So every element of that vector would fit into the 32-bit integer range. You must write an algorithm that runs in on time and without using division operation. Right. So the basic crux of the problem is that we are given an integer vector and we have to finally return a new vector in which every element of the new vector will denote the product of all the elements of the input vector except the in, uh, element itself. So taking this example 1, 2, 3, 4, the final vector is 24, 12, 8 and 6. So how do we achieve 24 over here? 24 is mapped basically to 1. So 24 is achieved by multiplying all the elements of this input vector except this one. So 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 gives us 24. Similarly, this 12 is mapped to this 2. So how do we get 12? 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. Basically, we don't have to consider 2 itself, right? Same is the case with 8 and 6, right? So let's uh, try to understand with this example 10, 3, 5, 6 and 2. So what is the final vector that we have to return over here? So the vector that we have to return over here is product of all the elements except that particular element that we are currently at. So if we are at element 10, so we have to take the product of all these elements 3 into 5, 15 into 6, 90, 90 into 2, 180. Right? So at this particular index, 180 would be there. What here, what would be there? It will be mapped to 3. This is mapped to 10. Right? So for 3, what would be the, what would be the answer? 10 multiplied by 5, 50 into 6, 300 into 2, 600, right? For this 5, what would be the answer? 10 multiplied by 3, 30 into 6, 180 into 2, 360. For this 6, what would be the mapping? 10, 3 to 30, 30 into 5 is 150, 150 into 2, 300. For this 2, what would be the uh, answer? 10, 30, 30 into 5, 150, 150 into 6, uh, 900, right? So this is basically the vector that we have to return. It's a very simple problem, but the one catch is in the question itself, we are given that we don't have to use the division operation. Why is it given? Because if the division operation was allowed, then the problem would have been way too simple. So what we could have done was we could have just basically take the product of all the elements 10 into 3 into 5 into 6 into 2. So what is the product of this? 30 into 5 is 150, 150 into 6 is 900, 900 into 2 is 1800. Right, so 1800 is the product of all the elements in this input vector. Right, so to get this 180 value, how are we getting this 180 value? Product of all the elements in the input vector except this 10. So we have to basically remove 10 from it. How can we remove it? So the answer for the zeroth index, let's mark the indexes as well. 3 into 5 into 6 into 2. For this, it would be 1800 divided by 10. It would be 180 that we have the value over here. Similarly, how could we achieve 600? 600 can be achieved by multiplying all the elements and whatever answer we have which is 1800 we will di just divide 1800 by 3 we will get 600 right so that would have been way too simple basically it would be 10 multiplied by 5 into 6 into 2 would be 1800 divided by 3 it would be 600 so that's why in question it is mentioned that we don't have to use this division operator at all so other and then how can we solve it uh, if we go by a brute force method So what are we going to achieve over here like for every element present at the ith index we have to take the product of all the elements in the input vector except i 
right so this is a very simple brute force method like we can have two loops one outer loop will iterate from i equal to 0 to i uh, till the last index and the inner loop would also have a similar kind of structure but the only condition that we can over here is that j should not be equal to i right because we have to basically uh, remove or not consider that element in the production and in inside this inner loop we can have a temp variable which we can keep on incrementing basically multiplying it with uh, if nums is the vector nums of j and when we exit this loop this temp value would be the product of all the elements in the array except ith element so the time complexity of this brute force method is o of n square because we have to used two loops time complexity would be o of n square space complexity it would be o of n only o of n because we have to create one extra vector in which we are going to return the answer right the answer vector we mean this vector of int that we have to return right what are the uh, more improvement like more better ways uh, than this brute force method better than o of n square let's discuss those so if we observe carefully right so let me redraw this array 10 3 5 6 and 2 yeah so if we have a in general if we look at uh, any input vector right so we are at particular index i so we have to compute the product of all the elements except i right so if you observe carefully it will have two sub problems to it one would be if we somehow get the product of all elements before i and if we somehow get the product of all elements after i so let's suppose the product of elements before i is x and product of all elements after y is after i is y then we just have to take the product of x and y can we do it in a single iteration over the loop yes so what we can do is we can have one auxiliary arrays not one basically two auxiliary arrays in one of the auxiliary arrays we will maintain so at a particular ith index in the auxiliary array it will denote what is the product of all the elements before ith element so if we mark the indexes over here to 0 1 2 3 4 here as well 0 1 2 3 4 so here 0th index what should be the value at the 0th index it should be the product of all elements before 0 but there are no elements before 0 so we just initialize it with 1 here the value at first index in this auxiliary array this is the auxiliary array 1 so value at first index of this auxiliary array will denote the product of all the elements before the first index in the original array which is nothing but 10 here at index 2 in the auxiliary array it will denote the product of all elements before index 2 which is 10 multiplied by 3 which is 30 Similarly, here it will be 30 into 5, 150. It will be 900 over here. Right. So, this auxiliary array denotes the product of elements before ith element, not after. So, we are basically going from left to right. Let's create another auxiliary array which will denote the product of elements after ith element. So, if this is the ith element, now we are going to calculate y. So for this, uh, let me mark the indices as well, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are no elements after this fourth index. So let's initialize it with value 1. For the third index, the value is 6. right? So we just see what is the product of elements after 6. It is just 2 over here. For this, it will be 16 to 2, 12. Here it will be 12, 5 is 60. It will be 60 into 180. So we have created two auxiliary arrays x and y so finally we have to compute the product of x and y right so what we can do over here is we can just take uh, corresponding ith indices value in both of these vectors 
and multiply them so the answer would be 1 into 180 let me change the color over here it will be 1 into 180 10 into 60 right 30 into 12 150 into 2 and 900 into 1 so if we multiply we can observe that we will finally get this answer over here so this approach is also fine a time complexity wise it is o of n because we are iterating over this input vector only once uh, twice actually so it's fine time complexity is o of n space complexity wise we are uh, using auxiliary space two times apart from the output vector that we are going to return right so it's the extra space it is o of 2n which will come out to be o of n only right so these are the two auxiliary arrays that we are basically maintaining to uh, keep a count of the product of the sub arrays from the left side and the right side right so this approach is also fine but can we somehow do it in constant time complexity like without using any extra space apart from the output vector that we are going to return let's see so in the output vector that we are going to return can we maintain both of these products simultaneously let's see if we can do that 0 1 2 3 and fourth index as well so uh, so in the first iteration of this input vector right let's maintain the product of all the elements before ith index so the value would be similar 110 it is 30 i guess it is 150 it is 900 which is similar to this one only right so instead of creating second auxiliary array can we simultaneously modify this sing this uh, vector itself let's see how can we do that so I will try to code this approach, this third approach and we will try to understand basically how are we going to use a single output vector and maintain the product. Let me just code it. So I am going to create one variable called temp which is initialized to 1 and one variable i which I will use to iterate over the nums vector and I will create one more vector which I am going to return so data type will be int as it is mentioned in the question it is not going to exceed 32 bit integer let's call it answer vector right so initially I will start iterating over the vector the size is nums.size So as I mentioned that we have to initialize the first index, 0th index of the output vector by 1. So that's what I am going to do over here. So I will just, so uh, here the vector size actually is 0. So I have to push back. One of the other ways can be like I can instantiate this vector with all the elements as value 1 and it and the size of this answer vector can be the size of this nums vector but I am creating it the other way like let's create element by element so I will push back the temp value whatever the value of temp is inside the answer vector and I am going to increment this value of temp to be nums of i so initially temp value is 1 and I just push back 1 into the vector output vector and I have incremented this temp from 1 to this value 10 this first 0th index value right so in this way I will be able to maintain the product of all the elements before ith index like suppose this is the ith index so here 150 will denote the product of all the elements before the third index third index over here is 6 right so if we take the multiplication 10 into 3 150 into 5 uh, 30 into 5 150 Right, so 150 denotes the product of all elements before third index 0 1 and 2 right so I need to do the same thing in the reverse order as well that like I have computed the value x over here right I need to compute y as well the product of all elements after ith index so I will uh, again instantiate this temp with, with 1 
and I will follow similar for loop structure again. Let's see how. So I'm going to start from the last index index of the array this time. Last index of the array would be num size minus one, correct? And i would be greater than equal to zero till this point. I'm going to continue and i minus minus. What I'm going to do now over here is I need to uh, update whatever value is present in my answer vector. So what is the value? It will be answer of i would be updated as answer i star temp, right? So in the back, like when I'm starting from the back side, I also need to compute. So let me just try temp is initialized to one. And this is the vector after this loop. Right. Let me just finish the code and uh, I will try run it after that. And temp would be updated as temp star answer of i. Not answer of i, it will be nums of i. And finally I can return answer. Very simple. So let me just try run it this second loop because for, for the first loop everything is clear like we have just populated the product of all the arrays uh, product of all the elements before the ith index for when we are starting on the back side the temp values and again initialized to one and the answer vector has currently this condition right so i will start from the back so i have these two conditions over here answer i equal to answer of i right and i is initialized to last index which is 4 so this value would be 900 into temp which is 1 only so this value will remain as it is and temp value would be updated as as i mentioned over here temp is updated as temp into nums of i which would be 1 into nums of i is 2 so it is 2 now right so now we come to this index this value would be updated as 150 into temp which is 2 it is 300 and now temp value would be updated as 2 multiplied by nums of i which is 6 it is 12 right now we come to this index this index would have the value currently as 30 now we take the product with current temp value which is 12 it is 360 now right so it will be updated as 360 this value was updated as 300 and temp value would be updated as 12 into nums of i nums of i is 3 which is 36 so basically in the temp vector we are maintaining the product of arrays from the back side so firstly it was 2 then it went to from 2 to 6 to the 12 after that 12 value we multiplied 12 again with 5 it is 60 60 multiplied by 3 it is 180 like that right so let me just try to run it it's this fine i will submit it yeah the solution looks fine and uh, the time complexity wise this solution has is uh, time complexity is of n only of 2 and basically like we are doing two times iterations over this array in the space complexity wise it is of 1 like we are just using one output vector uh, for returning right we are not using using any extra space apart from that and it is mentioned in the question that can you solve in the o1 extra space time complexity extra space complexity the output array does not count as extra space so that is not an issue uh, i guess the solution is clear if you have a better algorithm than this then uh, please do feel free to comment and uh, we can discuss that and uh, i will see you next time with uh, another problem of lead code and you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do consider it and uh, see you next time thank you